All right, we are in the kitchen with Dario. You know what? I'm not even going to try. Dario, give me your last name. Scotto D'Antuono. I like it. Scotto D'Antuono. Something I don't even close, man. But guess what we're making today? Pizza. Spell pizza. P-I-Z-Z-A. P-I-Z-Z-A. And we're going to do a margarita pizza. You're going to set the record straight. Most people right. are going to know exactly what's on a margarita pizza. All a margarita is is a plain cheese pizza. Plain cheese pizza. Ah, but with a special twist because when Dario makes pizza, mmm, delicious. We're getting ready. We'll come back in just a moment. All right, today is National Senior Health and Fitness Day coming up. The folks from One Life Fitness join us to bring down how a fit and healthy lifestyle can make a positive impact for seniors. Sure, classroom education is important. So is playtime. I'm Cheryl Tan. I'll show you how a local city is prioritizing play and how it provides a big benefit to the kids. One two one two testing one two three. Good morning. One more time, sir. Hey, one two one two testing All right, one two three. Thank you. Thank you. We have some pirates in the audience today. They're a little scary over there. They've got their mugs full of mead. I don't know what they're drinking. I think it's coffee, but we'll check that out. All right, we're in the kitchen this morning with Dario Scottotonio. D'Antuono. D'Antuono. Okay. From Dario's Pizza, and we're making the real margarita pizza this morning. First of all, welcome to the Hampton Road Show, Thank Dario. You. Uh, you know what? I, how, I know pizza is very important to you. Yes, it is. I mean, it is your life, and you know it better than anybody. Yes, I do. And the thing about margarita pizza... It's just a plain cheese pizza, and here, you know, people start changing things. Yeah. And there's things that you should not change. Names should not should be what it is. Right. And margarita pizza, it's basically just mozzarella cheese, a couple of flare leaves of basil, olive oil. How about tomato? And tomato sauce. Because I looked it up. It mm -hmm. is not margarita. Most people, you know, think about the drink margarita, but it's Queen Margarita of Italy. Yes. And it was first given to her with the colors of Italy. Uh, yep. Yeah. Kind of. Red. Kind of. White, white. Green. But enough of that. Let's get started. Show us how it's done, Dario. Okay. So here we have some dough. Mm-hmm. So what you want to do? You want to do it? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. What do you got to do? I just washed my hands. Okay. Hold just on. get it and uh, get all floured up. Floured it up. Yep. Okay. All right. 
Oh, there you we go. Don't yourself up there. There we go. Then you want to put it down? Right here? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just start stretching. Start stretching. You know, I, I did this at Chicho's for a whole summer. Really? You I did. made pizza at Chicho's. All right. Should I throw it or anything? Or? Oh, you can throw it. You can stretch it right in there. Looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, almost, but that's okay. Almost, I know. Come on, baby. Come on. All right. All right, now I'm we're going to some pizza. sauce. Okay, all right. It, it doesn't want to stretch for me, Dario. I'm, I'm going to blame it on the dough. Yeah, we can blame it on the dough. Okay, all right. He's got some other ones already made up. Okay. We're going to go with a little bit of sauce. Right. Anything special to this sauce, Dario? It's just regular uncooked sauce. Plain. Uh, there's people that want to add a couple, you know, a little basil maybe or a little garlic salt sugar but it has to be very simple mm -hmm. all right there you go then you put some uh, romano cheese on it which, which would be one? this one right this here one right here now how much just a little bit maybe be enough now why romano cheese because romano cheese and mozzarella cheese when they get together they give like a nice little flavor to it uh-huh then you put some mozzarella cheese on it mozzarella cheese now too little too much just uh, enough what just do you think enough that you like it There'd be enough right there. It's not my first pizza. All righty. There we go. There you go. Come on, is that it? Yeah, you just got to put some basil. Where's my basil at? Where's we, my basil? We lost the basil. Lost basil. Did we lose the basil? Yes, we did. You know, I blame it on the pirates. The, I'm not sure the pirates stole the basil. Here we got some fresh basil. Just oh, a little bit. Just, just a little. Yep. You don't, don't have to pull it. You can put a little whole leaf, yep. Okay, just a little. That's it. That's it. Is that it? You I mean, put too real. much, it's gonna taste like basil. <laughs> I mean, that's why we got it on there, right? Is that? I mean, really? Basil is only for the um, flavor. Okay. And then it goes in the oven. All right. So how long? About 10, 15 minutes. I'll pop that puppy in. Does it matter? Yep. Okay, now tell me about Dario's, because uh, something tells me that you uh, you make a lot of these pizzas. Okay, well, I moved out of here back in 05. Mm -hmm. I opened up my first pizza shop on Newtown Road, NY Style Pizza. Took us, uh, got rid of, I uh, got sold there about five years, uh, six years ago. Got back into business, opened up my own name on Newtown Road. I mean, um, I'm sorry. Holland Road, right? Huh? On Holland? Yeah, Holland Road. Yep. I opened that one up in the Timberlake Shopping Center. And it's been about seven months. Things is getting started. You know, started getting to know me. There's people all around Hampton Roads that are always in search of the perfect pizza pie. Yes. And I know you've tested other pizzas. Uh, how would you rate the pizza in Hampton Roads? Um, this is somebody from, you know, from Naples, Italy, who lived up in New York. Somebody who knows pizza on a scale of 1 to 10. How's this area? I mean, you can find decent pizza. Right? You can find decent pizza. It's about 7. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. Mm -hmm. Because actually, the, uh, they had it in Italy just now the um, third best pizza makers from Japan. Really? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You learn Number one is Italian, day. though. Of course. Of course. It is a worldwide dish, and nobody does it better than Dario. We did the margarita pizza. We're going to come back in a few minutes. We're going to talk other pizzas with Dario. So, good job, Dario. Thank you. All right. Well, Cheryl Tan is here with more on how one city is putting a greater emphasis on play. you got to have some fun, that's for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, playtime these days is spent more often than not in front of a monitor of some sort. In fact, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation, kids spent seven and a half hours in front of entertainment media per day. And according to the American Heart Association, about one in three kids is overweight or obese. So one local city is attacking the problem through play and it's getting some national recognition because of it. The solution from the city of Norfolk in today's What's Your Problem? And there are groups of third graders from Terrellton Elementary in Norfolk working together for one purpose. This game is called Noodle Let Pickup. They had to go to the middle with their partner, scoop up as many as they can without using their hands taking their noodlets they scooped up with their noodles back to their team, dropping their team's basket, and then the next set of group members would go. Playtime during P.E. There you go, good job! And teamwork taught while having fun. You want awesome! Anytime I pull the noodles out, they go crazy. They love it. It's always active. Everyone is usually always moving, so they love the noodle games. 
Movement matters, especially with the childhood obesity rate still at an alarming level. And the city of Norfolk is getting some national recognition for the priority it's placing on play. Physical education teacher Shannon Davis says not all of her students know what that means. Some of them do not. Some of them are used to just sitting and playing video games. So a lot of my games are introducing new skills. It's not your normal kickball, and it's not your normal roll out a ball, let's shoot basketball. I incorporate games of all kinds that they can take back home and show their siblings, show their parents. Nonprofit group Kaboom named Norfolk a playful city once again for its efforts to increase play opportunities for kids. We just received um, our, for the sixth time, we were announced as the Playful City USA by Kaboom. <laughs> The city just started a Healthy Norfolk initiative where we are encouraging our residents to get out, become more active, to play, and to just build healthy communities and healthy residents. Norfolk encourages play by hosting a yearly play day, the third Saturday in September, where anyone can stop by for a free day of fun and exercise. Where kids get to come out, well families get to come out and just have a great time. Pony rides, bounce houses, soccer games, basketball games, jumping rope, just anything you can do that's fun and active. Our slogan is get out and play and it, to us it doesn't matter what age you are, whether you are you know, 3 or 53 or even 73. We also just had our Norfolk Senior Olympics for residents 55 and older and our oldest participant was 97 years old. If you're 7 years old, teachers like Shannon Davis can lay the groundwork for proper playtime. A lot of the little kids, they like to dance. So when they come in here, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to dance. That gets their heart pumping, their muscles get them warmed up, and their listening ears ready to go for the next game. With enough encouragement, the games and the health benefits that go along with them will go on. Play has so many different components that people don't even think about. You learn teamwork, you learn self-control, you learn how to think for yourself, you learn how to have an imagination, and you, you're physically active. <laughs> They were having so much fun. Well, Play Day this year will be held on Saturday, September 15th at Terrellton Elementary in Norfolk. So look for more details to come. In the meantime, get outside and play. PE teachers are the greatest resource about getting your kids active. And the city of Norfolk is doing its part. Its goal to have a playground within a quarter mile of every neighborhood so every family has a place to play. So more details on this effort at HamptonRoadShow.com. Thank Sounds you very good. much, Cheryl. Play. Look, you little kids. Arr. Speaking of kids, there you go. Said it best. So Arr. Arr. How do you spell that? R? A R R R. G H? G H, I guess. I don't know. But we're sitting here. It's all about spelling words today. And I've got a list of some of the winners from the adult spelling bee each year. We got Olivaceous, Pediculicide, Grok, Shekel, Triculate, Apoplexy, Guaca, Guttural, Rhodopsin. That doesn't even sound right. I'm telling you, man. These are hard. Those are hard. But we're saying kudos to six year old. Uh, Lorianne of Lake Ridge, Virginia. She is the youngest to compete in this Six. year's National Spelling Bee. She's going to be competing with like 277 other contestants who are twice her size, twice her age. So we just wanted to know, do you watch, one, the Spelling Bee? Do you like spelling? Um, Mike B, he says, spell checker is my very good friend as it is to many of us, Mike. Cheryl says, I usually only watch if I accidentally come across it flipping through the channels. She says, and then I'm mesmerized. It is. If you're flipping through the channels and you see the words, the kids, you can't help but stay on the channel. Yep. And do you, you're always at home trying to spell the words. Can you give me the amazing. origin of mesmerize? <laughs> can you use it in a sentence, please? Can you? <laughs> Lance says, uh, I can never find out what channel until it's over. I like watching the kids' reactions because you just know they're freaking out inside. They're just, they get that look around and it's like, you know, they're just... And some of them, some of their little mannerisms, like, crack on there, the they're, pressure. They're just sitting there, like, with their hands or something. Um... Ariane Keenan says uh, she was homeschooled too. Oh, I didn't know that. Most wow. of most of this. Lot and uh, Louisa Coleman says it can be fun to watch if I happen to catch it. She says the kids are so serious about the competition, really seem to love it, which is what makes it so fun and interesting. We've had conversations with the Reckling boys this summer. They're going to try to learn a word every day. Are they? Learn a new word That's every good. day, and then we'll post. Maybe have we'll check them on it. Yeah. You think they Shekel. What, Shekel. What is all that about? I wonder what I one know. of those mean. That first one, Quashio. Your Don't even try that one. That one's a tough one. Your All right, cool. Thanks for buzzing in now. <laughs> All right, coming up on this week's postcards from Hampton Roads, we're uh, taking you inside Portsmouth Hill House, where four sisters loved and then left all their belongings. And
and Basky mateys. Just ahead, we'll talk about the Pirates' life this weekend in Hampton. And don't forget our pop quiz today. We'll have two lucky winners. Uh, you'll each receive a family four-pack of tickets to see the Universal Circus tonight at the Gallery at Military Circle in Norfolk. Just log on to HamptonRoadShow.com and click on the pop quiz button on the top right-hand corner of the screen. Pirates. When my friend started a nonprofit, he was like, it is the worst show I've ever seen in my life. He's from like, Never mind, Jeff, I guess it's not simple. One, two, three, four, five. With an I like it. everyone. Now you might be able to talk like a pirate, even dress like one, but this weekend take your passion for pirates to a new level of swashbuckling excitement for the 13th annual Blackbeard Pirate Festival in downtown Hampton. We're joined by Tony Williams and the festival from Blackbeard's crew incorporated, also Captain Pern and everyone else. Welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Thank you. Thank, yeah, thank you. Tony, let me start with you. Tell me about the festival, what people can expect when they attend. Oh my gosh, there's so many great things that they can expect. Um, starting Friday evening, we have our kickoff, which is the Grand Pirates Ball. It's a, <laughs> uh, it's a grand event, and it is a ticketed event, but we still have tickets on sale. Then Saturday, it's, we've just got tons of entertainment lined up. We have all of our historical reenactments, mm -hmm. which is provided by my friends here. Um, some grand tall ships. The Pride of Baltimore is actually special this year for Opsell mm -hmm. 2012. Yeah. Uh, we also have some entertainment, a fantastic children's area with um, special entertainment, rides, a sand pit where they can actually participate in their own treasure dig and fireworks at the end of the evening at 9 p.m. And then Sunday we do it all over again, and it's just so much fun. Please, everyone, come out and, and participate in all of our pirate activities. Yes, <laughs> and Captain Pern, uh, you guys have been very vocal here. We appreciate that. Uh, I would I try to be. You guys stay in character. What is that like? What do people uh, walk away with when they come to the pirate festival? <clears throat> they walk away with history from 300 years ago. They learn the story of Blackbeard and what happened to him. Uh, because Blackbeard has a direct attachment to Hampton and that Governor Spotswood of Virginia in 1718 was sent Lieutenant Maynard down to capture Blackbeard in Ocracoke, North Carolina. So it all emanated right from Hampton and we relived that entire story on Saturday, June 2nd. How so, long have you been involved with it? Uh, 12 years. This is 13 years now. This is our 13th annual. What do you love about it so much? Uh, it, it, Playing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you said that in the last session. Uh -huh. it's, it's about playing. I'm, yeah. I'm over 50 now, and 
I still love to play. <laughs> and is it fun, you know, the kids, can they get dressed up? And By all means, well? we yeah. encourage everyone to get dressed up. <laughs> kids of all ages, from 2 until 200. So, uh, in fact, the Grand Pirates Ball on Friday evening, in fact, I had a couple of my crew members here that were fighting over uh, who was going to take their sister to the ball on Friday evening. <laughs> Maybe they'll, they'll do something for you in a little while, but uh, everyone should dress up for this weekend. It's just fun. Sounds good. And uh, cost, did you mention it was free, open, or different events cost? The festival is okay. free, okay. open to the public. The Grand Pirate Ball on Friday evening is a ticketed event, but we have tickets on, st on sale still. So. All right. Well, the, the 13th Annual Black Bear Pirate Festival is this weekend, June 1st through 3rd, downtown Hampton at the waterfront. You can call 727-0900 or just go to blackbeardfestival.com. We'll have all this information on our website. A big ah! There you go. All right, that's hard to follow right there. All right, today is National Senior Health and Fitness Day, so we wanted to show you just how a fit and healthy lifestyle makes a positive impact for seniors and people of any age. One my fitness personal trainer, Mandy Johnston, is here along with Chris Best, a member at Chesapeake Square. One Life. Mandy, Chris, welcome to the Hampton Roads Show, a regular here. We are talking fitness of all ages and why it is so important for the seniors because of National Senior Health Day. Right. Talk about that. Well, you know, fitness just, it keeps you younger, it keeps you feeling younger, it keeps you active. Um, it definitely helps improve brain function and sleeping and mm -hmm. it just makes you feel better. So we wanted to bring somebody along that fitness has kind of changed her life and it, anybody can do it. Okay, Chris, it's changed your life. I mean, <laughs> have you always been active or did you just go back to a, a, a more stringent routine? Or, I mean, talk about your personal uh, um, Basically, experience. back when I was diagnosed with osteopenia is when I really began to look at a healthier lifestyle. And I was basically, at that point, I was active, but not as active as I am now. When was that? That was back... Um, how many years? Ten years, years ago. And what is osteopenia? Osteopenia is the begin. Actually, it's the onset of osteoporosis, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you start losing um, your bone in your hip. Well, mine was in my hips and in my right. back. I know that when you get older, your bone density and the mass mm -hmm. you lose a little bit of it. Absolutely. And, and but by staying more fit, exercise can you help can prevent that. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what kind of routine should uh, seniors go on? Is it just staying active, moving? Is it what are some but of the you know? It's, you do? it's mainly you've got to find what what works for you. Right. Um, Strength training is definitely a big one because it helps prevent that bone loss that she was talking about. Um, but if, if walking is what you like to do, mm -hmm. walk. You know, if Zumba is what you like to do, do Zumba. It's just staying active um, and continuing something forever. Don't stop just because you're getting older. Talk about when you did start your routine and how it changed your life and maybe what the benefits were for you, Chris. A lot of it was, my, I was also overweight at the time as well, mm -hmm. so I lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. um, my bone densities that I have done have basically um, started up on a, up, instead of being going lower it's actually going higher so which means I have increased the bone mass or the bone density in my back and in my hips as well which is great Mandy I know this is the, this is your appeal to those who might want to start mm -hmm. talk tell them that now's the time now is the time it's never too late to start mm -hmm. I, Chris and I were talking she's probably in the best shape of her life now wow. um, she's a certified Zuma instructor like it's never too late to get started in something and you're just gonna feel better and feel younger and look younger that's great Stay advice hey today is National Senior Health and Fitness Day never too late contact the people at One Life Fitness locations across Hampton Roads and Ch uh, at Chesapeake Square call them at 465-6900 or look them up online at onelifefitness.com of course they're on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube she is Mandy Johnston she's ready to put you back to work <laughs> get you in shape and give you a better life thanks for joining us today thank guys you. thank you well, it's a problem that affects so many, especially the older set. Coming up, our friends at Bayport Credit Union stop with some steps that you can take to protect yourself and your older family members from scammers and fraud. And coming up next, we're back in the kitchen with Dario Scottantonio putting the finishing touches on the real margarita pizza. Stick around.
and not left struggling, just look ahead and during a break time. Show. We are back in the kitchen. We're joined by Dario Scotto D'Antonio. Is that better? Yeah, good and close. Of Dario's Pizza, and we're making the real margarita pizza. We made that earlier, but this time we're going to make a little something different. But you know what? He is the professional, but I am going to challenge him to a duel. Okay. Okay. Dario says no problem. All right. We're going to do a little dough making contest here, right? We're okay. going to try to make a pie, right? Real quick. You and me. Okay. You ready? Whenever you're ready. Are you going to give me a head start? Or of are you, course. Or what? I have to. Okay, ready. Three, two, one, go. Go. We got any music? Look at you spinning it. He's doing the spin method. Something's up right here. Mine's not working out. <laughs> okay, all right. Something's not right. All right. There oh, we have it. Pretty close. There we have it. At least mine looks different than yours, Dario. Oh, well, yeah. All right. It's so, a new style. So you can see through mine, and it's, that means it's not going to be a good pizza. But yours is perfectly done, and it's going to be perfect for what? What are we making this time? Well, we can make a white garlic pizza. White the, garlic? The real white garlic pizza. Okay. It which, sounds delicious. Yep. The real go white garlic pizza only has um, oregano, oil, mozzarella cheese, and uh, powdered garlic. Okay. Go for it. Oh. Dario, um, talk about your business, how it's been lately. I mean, everybody likes pizza. Are you super busy on weekends? Oh, uh, well, we still started up. Not too many people know us in the area yet. So, little by little, people is basically coming in. And what they do, word of mouth. Word of mouth. Yep, that's the best advertisement that I can find, and there will be. I know there's more to it than just pizza at Dario's, right? Well, we do a couple subs. Right. We do chicken wings. Um breadsticks my main concern is the pizza though because i'm really into the pizza it's my passion and i want to be able to bring people like the true taste of a pizza okay what have you put on there you put no, the garlic we put the garlic now uh -huh. we put in some oregano mm -hmm. now what really makes you mad about pizza what upsets you about pizza because everybody has their version of pizza when people open up their pizza shops not really knowing the uh, basics. The basics. And start calling everything different names, doing their own thing. Right. And gets the, con the consumer confused. Confused, so right. So every time you go to a pizza shop, not everybody does the same thing. Right. Is there one pizza out there you just uh, you cringe every time you hear that one pizza? Not uh, You have to name names, uh, but you can't say a pizza. The Margarita. Ah, uh, see, there you have it. I mean, he just said The Margarita crazy. was born just with cheese. Just with cheese. And uh, lately I'm finding people then put in uh, sliced tomatoes, a lot of basil, mm -hmm. and actually that's not a margarita anymore. You know, at first I thought you were going to put ketchup on it. What's this? No, that's oil. Okay. That's the easy way to put oil on a pizza for a user at home mm -hmm. because you can control much better than get it out from a bottle of oil. Okay, a little mo mozzarella. Yep. This is the white garlic pizza. We have that one right there, is but we it? have already, yep, that's all it is. Okay, so we were done with that. Yep. So do we, should we show uh, show everybody what we got inside? Well, let's see, what we got going on? We got yours. Which one? Oh, oh on yours top. is the top one, still cooking. Still cooking, but you know, we'll just show it to you right now. It's got a nice big bump in the middle. All right, this is mine, the real margarita pizza. Not bad, not bad. Kind of a big, big uh, dough, big crust. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we've got a tra tra traditional pepperoni and mushroom pizza also in there from Dario. Listen, if you really want to find the best pizza around town, give Dario a chance. He's got some outstanding pizza. He's, it's Dario's Pizza at Timberlake Shopping Center at 4239 Holland Road in Virginia Beach. Give Dario a call at 961-9080. Thanks for setting this, uh, the record straight on the margarita pizza, Dario. Hey, that's my uh, duty. Okay, right, we're going to check it out in just a few minutes and see how it tastes. We'll be back in just a few.